This is an overview of the Lunar Tides interactive illustration from SciencePrimer.com. The illustration explores the Earth-Moon-Sun system's influence on daily and monthly tidal patterns. It uses a simplified system assuming a perfectly spherical, water-covered Earth rotating around its own center of gravity. Real tidal patterns are influenced by additional factors, but the importance of the Moon gives this simple model substantial power to explain daily tidal patterns. The addition of the Sun and interactions between the Sun and the Moon explain monthly tidal patterns. View the illustration and related content for free at sciencepimer.com. There is a direct link to the illustration in the video description. When the page first loads, the main window shows the Earth-Moon orbital system. The position of the Sun is indicated by a yellow arrow pointing off screen to the right. The sides of the Earth and Moon facing the Sun are lit, indicating it is daytime. The sides facing away from the Sun are shaded, indicating nighttime on that side of both planets. There's a red dot on the Earth. The initial time at that position is local midnight. As the illustration runs, that point will rotate with the Earth. The Earth is surrounded by three rings. The white ellipse pointed towards the Moon is a graphical representation of the gravitational influence of the Moon. Notice that the ellipse indicates the Moon's gravitational effect creates water bulges both towards and away from the Moon. A smaller yellow ellipse indicates the Sun's influence, again with bulges both towards and away from the Sun. The blue filled ellipse represents water level. Water level is influenced by both the Moon and the Sun. The gravitational force of the Moon is stronger than that of the Sun, so water is pulled more strongly towards the Moon. In the initial view, the Sun and the Moon are not lined up. With this orientation, their gravitational influences work against each other, resulting in neap tide conditions. It is low tide at the observer's position. The reporters to the upper right count the number of days, hours, and lunar days since the illustration started. To the right of that is a representation of what the Moon looks like from Earth. This illustrates that spring tides occur at full and new moons, and neap tides occur when the moon is in the first and third quarter. The top button on the lower right allows the illustration to run continuously. The other buttons allow the illustration to advance one solar or one lunar day respectively. The final button resets the illustration. As the earth rotates, the red observer moves through each tidal bulge. Water height over time is graphed at the bottom. The buttons below the graph allow different features to be added or removed. 